Hey everyone, it's Brian and welcome back again to another Monday Mail Call. Today is July 18th, <laughs> so welcome back. Uh, we've got a few things to share with you guys here. We just had the mailman drop some stuff off and thank you Mr. Mailman, we appreciate that. Uh, especially when it's, you know, 110 degrees outside, so mail carriers. I wish there was something more we could do for our local mail carriers rather than just say, hey, thank you. Uh, but, you know, regulations and rules and all that stuff. Can't really be giving them a beer. They don't, they, you know, they frown on that. So, <laughs> mailman loves it, but I don't think his bosses care for it much. We're going to start off with um, something from our friends at Splash Paints. Yay, Splash Paints. Now, they have... Um, they don't really have like a logo on their box, or whatever, but they do have a very distinctive box that they use. Uh, that you can, it's a very distinctive box you can buy any place. So, uh, we've got some paints from our friends up there and uh, a whole lot of packing peanuts. So, now we don't have cats. I think cats like messing around with us. But um, we had uh, ordered some uh, Cerulean Blue, and so we have that now. So, hopefully, the camera's not blowing that out too much. We got some Cerulean Blue. That's a beautiful color. We also got bronze metallic. This stuff, that is a beautiful color as well. I am loving that. And then this one, I'm pretty stoked about this one. This is just plain old lime. Look at that. That is just awesome. I can't, okay. So we got ideas for all these things, upcoming things going on. I have a, um, a uh, Ravel Germany um Revell Germany McLaren kit that I'm building from my nephew Jake he's a huge McLaren fan and uh we're going to be using the cerulean blue on that one and I, I I really like the idea that he kind of discussed with us on that on that particular build so we're looking forward to doing that it's one of those things that we started on and had to set aside because of you know life things and all and all the group builds that we are being part of so so there's that so uh thank you to our friends at Splash Paints for accommodating us with that uh, and then we're going to go on to what we got on the eBay the other day. Now, we had talked about the uh, the Mustang kit that we had picked up last week uh, at the model meeting. Well, I did some eBaying, and I found something. Actually, I take that back. This was on Amazon. You know, that place, that river has everything. Uh, we found this on Amazon for a very, very good price. Uh, it was like a personal seller type of thing. And we found, that's right, the Hearst. The Hearst edition, this is the 350GT-OH, or wait, did I read that wrong? I read that wrong. The GT350, I said, <laughs> I almost read that as the GT35OH. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. No, it's the GT350H series. So that's going to go onto the Mustang stack that's growing. It's right, it's right down there. It's just, it's just getting bigger and bigger. We'll slide that over there like that. So more Mustangs. Um... I guess there's a convertible kit out there. I, I I don't know if there's any more kit versions of that of that kit, but uh, yeah, I, um, I'm kind of hooked on those. I kind of like with the the 32 Ford. I kind of got the fever. Um, now this box is from our good friend and yours, Mr. Fred Henry. Uh, we had been chatting with him. He showed me the pictures of uh, what he was going to be working on for the Pro Street build. What his idea was. And he said, yeah, I'm taking these kit, these parts out of this particular kit, which happens to be a kit that I'm building for the Pro Street Group build. And I happen to just let it slide that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, uh, little concerned about the body on mine because it looks like the roof might be cattywampus, crooked, smashed a little bit. So a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but it is an older kit, so that kind of stuff can happen. And... Um, the plastic is very, very brittle, it seems like. So trying to warp it back into shape doesn't seem like it was going to work. So he's like, I'm using certain, certain bits out of this here kit. I'm keeping some stuff for myself. How about I hook you up? And I'm like, if you could swing that, that would be amazing. So we worked it all out. And then this just showed up in the mail today. And it feels like there's a lot of stuff in there still. So let's um, set this aside. Let's take a peek what we got in here oh hey i can always use some more kitchen paper wow oh fred knows how to pack stuff i tell you what oh sweet so we got the interior the interior tub uh more oh more window glass um yes thank you please <laughs> another firewall 
So we got all sorts of bits and stuff in there, handy dandy things. And then another chrome tree. Sweet. Okay, cool. Looks like the front bumper's in there too. Propaganda. Okay. And then, uh, hey, mine didn't come with the metal axle. This one actually has the metal axle in it. Okay, this is going to be handy. Thank you, Fred. Um, mine, didn't, <laughs> mine didn't have a metal axle in there. That's uh, That actually answers a couple of questions uh, that I had about the kit. Uh, let's see how this turned out. Yeah, wow. Okay. It's like a CVS receipt. I'm going to step on that later and break my neck. I know it. Dang. I think maybe Vicky did this. Oh, yeah. He knows how to wrap a car body, this dude. Okay. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Thank you, Fred. Thank you so much, my bud. Okay, oh, I got the goosebumps. I got the goosebumps. Now I can get back on track with that. That's going to go over that shoulder there. Uh, and then let's get on to the last bit of uh, coolness that we got in the mail. Well, this came from all the way up in the Canada, or Canada, depending on how you pronounce that. And this is uh, DV Scale Works, and I follow him on Instagram. He had just recently done a, um, a Myers Manx uh, dune buggy. And it is a very, very clean, beautiful build. He's got like the baby moons on there and stuff. I was like, chef's kiss. Awesome job, Dave. That was just amazing. But um, he enclosed a very, very nice note. And uh, it was very flattering. And thank you very much, Dave, for this gift. Because he, he reached out to me. He says, hey, you know, I'd like to do a shop card um, sticker swap with you. So he sent us a couple of stickers. These are going to go, one's going to go on the toolbox of fame, uh, like that right there. And the other one, I think I'm just going to put that in the binder of fame and keep with all the other shop cards that we have. And then, um, so he's like, you know, we're, we're sending addresses back and forth and stuff. And he's like, oh, what size are you? And I'm like, that's a very odd question to be asking. <laughs> so I told him and he's like, I think I got something you might like. So uh, a few days later in the mail shows up this little box here and i was pretty excited because i was like well it could be gloves it could be you know eyeglass wear it could be anything and as it turns out it is a shirt and it's not just any shirt but it was a promo shirt that he had a few left over from snap-on they were doing uh, a promotional thing and it is a shirt with the indy 500 logo on it so how cool is that thank you so much dave this i think this will actually fit it'll fit quite well as a matter of fact and it's it's um it's one of these deals where it's like it's so cool i don't know if i want to mess it up this will be like special occasion race race shirts you know when i'm sitting down watching a race i'll be wearing that so thank you again dave thank you for doing the shop card slash sticker swap with us that was very cool to do that and um i greatly appreciate that and I'm going to be putting uh, Dave's link down below if I can do that for uh, for his Instagram account because he does do some really great builds and y'all need to be aware of that. So I thought I'd share that. Okay, I believe, let's take a look around. That does it for us. We're going to talk to you a little bit later on. We're going to get back on to the C600 tetanus cab because that is so close to being done. So we're going to do a final on that this week. I'm really hoping. And then uh, on to the Pro Street stuff since we'll have a space in the uh, the build calendar. So we'll get back on the Pro Street stuff, especially since Fred has helped us out with the body on that. So thank you very much. All right. I'm going to sign off. Y'all take it easy and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.